Back to school, also known as your trauma. Also known as, for some people, joy. And for some other people, it's uh, finally after a while you wake up early in the morning to do something productive for once in a while because your whole summer break, you didn't do anything productive early in the morning. And for the first time you say, oh, why do I need to wake up in the morning? God damn it, let me sleep. <laughs> learning, 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 and studying. That's what you do in school and that's why many people hate, love it, or find it traumatic. But you know, in, the, in this time and era where, you know, we say Giggity Riz, uh, Omega LOL, and all the Gen Z slangs that I found in Wikipedia. <laughs> I thought, well, this generation, I wonder how back to school is for this new generation, Generation Alpha. And then I got this, this Walmart ad and, and I could not believe my ears. Well, let's watch it together. I I'm sorry to pause, but does that say Boogle Elementary School? <laughs> More like Booger Elementary School, am I right? Oh, was that rat or what, man? That's Omega LOL face if I've seen one. Poggers. Um, um, uh. Taylin, that fit slays. Okay, okay, we're entering this Walmart ad pretty fresh, pretty, pretty good, okay? Slay is fine, okay? It's, it's like saying, hey, that's some good drip, man. Hey, it's fine, it's fine. It's not cringy at all. Cat, can I tell you a secret? We don't say slay, we say, you ate. Huh? What? Can you say that again? You ate. You ate? Oh, well, cool, what did you eat? Did you eat a sandwich or something? <laughs> no, I mean, uh, Wikipedia, please tell me. Analyze! A phrase used to show admiration or praise for someone who succeeds on performing well in something Yes. Examples. Girl, you ate that outfit, man! That choreography ate them! They ate none left, no crumbs! So those are, those are magnificent examples. And the, the term originates from the African-American LGBTQ community. That's not that cringy, man. Now let's continue. You ate. Cool. What else you got? Maximum or a point? Oh my god, man, no. Uh... <laughs> well, I'm not cringing yet, and if you thought I was cringing earlier, I'm not even cringing, man. I mean, what's cringy about an elementary school teacher saying maximum, maximum aura points to a elementary school kid? Like, uh, just to fit in, it's not. It's, 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 uh, it's cringe, man. Popping the preppy vibes. Wait, is preppy cool again? Okay, maybe I don't see enough TikTok or Gen Z humor or anything, but what the, what in the hell is preppy? I feel left out. But it's different from how it was in the 1900s. All right, shots fired for the, for the millennials over there, and um, uh, I still don't know what preppy is. What in the hell is preppy? Also, Walmart, what are you doing with this ad, seriously? Wait, who are you trying to appeal? Gen Alpha? Sure, Gen Alpha's gonna watch your fucking ad. Sure, Walmart. Like, it makes no fucking sense. Wow, everyone's really feeling themselves. <laughs> No cap, you weren't cringe or Ohio at all. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna die of cringe. Oh fuck, I think I'm gonna die. Did she just say Ohio? Oh, oh Walmart, you're killing me. What's Ohio? That'll be our lesson on the ride home. Oh, thank god we finished it. We finished it. Okay, okay, fine. Oh, damn. Now that was the worst 40 second ad break I've ever seen in my entire life. But yeah, I just want to talk about this cringe ad that Walmart put out. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Like and subscribe and stay giggity rich. I'm one of you guys. <laughs>